Alrighty, yes, joining me now in the um, in the Kiwi studio, a new feature to the show, it's Hamish Coleman-Ross from Throng TV, throng.co.nz forward slash TV, uh, with a new episode out um, a week ago or so now as well, episode number two. G'day there, Hamish. Yeah, good morning, Wemo. Yeah, about uh, two weeks ago, I think. How's um, how's the show going? Yeah, it's going all right. Eh? Yeah, that was that was a bit different for us. We uh, kind of got out of New Zealand and we went to Australia and invaded the set of Home and Away and uh, caught up with the cl- the uh, cast of a new show that's starting on TV3 called Glee. Ooh. And they were down from the states um, over there, so uh, we had a look. The actual process of putting together the um, the, te- the the web show, the web only show, is it um, a little bit slower or more time intensive than you imagined? Uh, uh, yes and no. I mean, um, I was away um, shortly after we'd filmed that, so I kind of didn't have a, a chance to work on the post this time around. But I think the one thing that we're probably going to do with the show from here on in is uh, sort of put our interviews and stuff up as we go, because uh, it, it's so timely. Yeah. Um, like, the Glee stuff is just so relevant, um, especially now. It starts this Friday on yep. TV3 at 7.30. Right, so this is a show that's starting on, on at seven thirty. Now I was at a barbecue last night, and we were talking about Friday Night TV, and and everyone was saying, "Oh, that's crazy! Why would you why would you put the best stuff on Friday evening? Aren't people out and about?" And then, then I and I made the point, well. I mean, look how popular um, America's Next Top Model is. Look at the ratings, and I think that you'll see that there are plenty of people that do just want to go home on a Friday night and, and have some blob, damn eh? good entertainment. And yeah. look, this Friday, you're going to have Glee. And I can tell you right now, if you haven't seen it um, illegally, uh, the first episode is fantastic. You'll love it. Where's it from again? Uh, it's from the state, so it's a, it's a LA-based production, um, and it's done by Ryan Murphy, who did Nip Tuck, and before that, he did Popular. Okay. And now he's gone back to kind of doing a high school thing. But it's, it's sort of like high school musical with balls. You know, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a bit darker. Uh, yeah. It's really funny, but it's really well done. Like, these guys are incredibly talented that are doing the show. And I, I've, I've watched the pilot probably about six times. I think it's Is that great. good? Yeah, wow. no, it's really good. And so it hooks you in on that first... Definitely. The characters are great. Yeah. The show's great. It's on 7.30. Watch it. And, and I just wanted to say, Friday nights have just shaped up so well on TV3. I think they're to be applauded for the programming, because you've got that, then you've got Rove, Jackie Brown Diaries. Yeah, I'm, 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 yet, I'm yet to catch up on the new series. Good. Oh, great. Reese Darby in uh, last Friday's episode looked like he was having way too much fun. <laughs> um, he was playing, like, the biggest wanker um, New Zealand Kiwi actor um, that's made it big in Hollywood and come back to little old NZ. Right. And he was just funny as, you know, I'd, I really enjoyed that. And then, of course, Seven Days, which is probably, arguably, um, one of the best comedy programs we've had in the last couple of years yeah, on New Zealand that's TV. Yeah, that's a wee success. Uh, you reckon they'll get a, a second go at it? They already have a second go at uh-huh. it. There you yeah, go. So yeah, next year we can work. see more. Yeah, how does that stack up against uh, TV One's kind of British comedy evening? That oh, I don't got think it going? stacks up at all. No, <laughs> I just no, I no competition. Um, I mean, I, I could be wrong. I haven't actually looked at the ratings compared, but I've specifically gone and seen what shows like Jackie Brown and Seven Days are doing because I think that they're great. And personally, I think it's just really great that we're supporting uh, New Zealand comedy on screens, New Zealand productions. It's almost like the end of the New Zealand comedy cringe. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, hey, we had to break it at some point, right? Mm. You know? Um, so I really like it. But, you know, I, I applaud Jackie Brown for what she's doing, especially. It just sort of, you know, she really put herself out there with that. And it could have got, let's be honest, it could have gone either way, but she's got a Qantas Award to say different. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, let's look at um, some, some reality TV that's going on at the moment. Um, the, yes. Isn't there going to be the New Zealand version of The Apprentice? There is. Now, I can't, I don't know how to pronounce his last name, so I'm just going to say when he's famous enough, I'll get it right. But Terry Steratops or some, something, he's a, like, he's yeah. a Greek born Kiwi entrepreneur. He's responsible for starting up the Wellington Phoenix. Oh, yep. Um, you know, he, he bankrolled that to get it going. Great casting decision. Do we know what his background is before that? Cause uh, property developer. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's, he, uh, yeah, he's a millionaire, and he uh, has a multi-millionaire. Why does sorry. that seem so boring, in a way? I mean, sure, you make your, make your squillings, but... You've oh, got to see this guy's developer. haircuts. There's nothing boring about his haircuts. I, I like this guy, because um, I think he's ballsy in his business approach. Mm. I think he's young. And the fact of the matter was, is when they were saying they're going to do a New Zealand Apprentice, it's like, oh, please don't get some yeah. overweight, moth-eaten old businessman, you know, like... I thought it was going to be Bob Jones. Yeah, I thought that too, and then I thought, I don't really know if I want to watch Bob Jones. <laughs> but he, you know... He might smack it, them, yeah. yeah exactly. He won't be fired. It'll be like, you're laid out. <laughs> <laughs> you're down Fantastic. for the count. So, um, no, but that's going to be great. Um, it's, I had a song about it the other day, and they said, well, it's a six-year-old concept. Maybe we should have done something else. But, mm. no, I think it would be interesting to see. Kiwis seem to love seeing uh, 
New Zealand versions of international hits. We used to make the international hits originally here, but now we love bringing them over. I mean, as bad as it was, I did enjoy watching uh, New Zealand's Next Top model. You and a lot of the country. Yeah. It's rated higher than the cult, which has just sort of died a silent death on Let's TV2. Let's talk about that, because I watched the pilot. Yes. It didn't grab me, so I didn't carry on. There you go. Is that what happened to most people? Yep. I got through about episode three, and I was halfway through it, and I was like, why am I watching this? Mm. I was like, I'm watching this because I really want to like it. You know, the production values are really strong. It's cool to have this sort of gutsy drama, large scale, um, on primetime TV2. And I just didn't really like any of the characters. It really, I just it really came didn't down like to them. that. Yeah. I just looked at them and I'm like, oh, I'm not really into you guys. Is it the, was, it, was it the characters or was it the actors? Oh, I think it was a combination of both. Yeah, no, I just didn't care the, about them. Apparently the writing is amazing. I'm sure it is, but the pacing sure as hell off. <laughs> and it looks fantastic. Oh, look, this is, and this is a Kiwi symptom. I'll come out and say it. That, look, technically, we are so proficient with mm. being able to produce gorgeous work. You know, we really have that down to a fine art, and it is. But I just always think that when it comes to storytelling, uh, as far as assembling the story, our pace is way off all the time. Okay. I, I think it did lack that the, um, the hook that you're talking about, that this, this Glee program that starts this Friday, Absolutely. I lacked the hook in the first episode, and, and I had Rian Sheehan, who uh, did the music mm -hmm. on the show, and he said, oh, come on, man, just, just wait it out till episode two, three, four, and you'll be hooked in the end, because it, it just goes really twisted. And, and I also said, well, I've, I, I just feel like I've been really spoilt by um, really good HBO or AMC stuff that comes from the States. And, and I, I think and there's I, something to be said about that, actually, and, yeah. And, and I'm looking for something really weird and twisted straight away to get me in. Well, I mean, I've been um, I've been being naughty and uh, watching Mad Men online, and um, I, Likewise, I've, yeah. I've got yeah. to say that that show is just getting better and better and better. It's, I mean, when it first came out, people were comparing it to Sopranos a lot, and saying, you know, oh, it's not quite as good or whatever. It won't be as memorable as Sopranos. But you know, we're midway through the third season on that now, and I'm looking at it going, yeah. this is incredible. Some people say it's a little bit slow, but I I I kind of dwell in its slowness because it's all about the sets and the character. To, you know, it's, yeah, there's a lot to take in. It's a multi-level show. Yeah. Speaking of overseas, I do want to get this in, is um, the two twins that are rocking the UK at the moment, the X Factor, um, which if you lived in England, you wouldn't be able to like move without being attacked by right. X Factor stories. It, this, it makes this, up most of the media at the moment. Is this like um, Britain's Got Talent? Or? No, yeah, it's kind of more like Idol, um, but they, they have groups and they have individuals and they have kids that are a bit older and a bit younger and they've got four judges and the judges kind of coach a certain group of, and it's as much about the competition between the judges as between the uh, contestants. And there's these two 18-year-old identical twins from Dublin called John and Edward. And John and Edward, despite being a duo, yeah. between the two of them have like 0.1% <laughs> talent. Right. And I think it's the fact that they can stand on their own two feet. Yeah. They can't dance, they can't sing, right. but they're really entertaining. And it would seem that the whole of Britain agrees they had the highest rated um, and the highest number of votes ever mm. um, for X Factor the other week after they'd just done a really god-awful performance of um, Ricky Martin, She Bangs. <laughs> but the turning point was when they did Oops, I Did It Again by Britney Spears in yeah. um, PVC Jackets. Uh, it, it, look, these guys are just terrible, but I think it's almost like uh, reality TV has turned back on itself. Is, is, is it kind of eating itself, do you think? Is, 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 yeah. is Britain laughing at them rather than laughing with them in this case? Oh, I think Britain just uh, hates seeing people that are more talented than they are at home, and it's yeah. like, great, you know, th these guys are these guys are so terrible that I feel better when I watch it. I feel better about myself. Uh, finally, um, uh, the New Zealand series of MasterChef is coming up as well. That's right. They are literally beginning this week, I think. Yeah, I, I, I don't know anything about the phenomenon because I, I, I don't watch it at 5.30 or whenever it is, so I don't. But well, it's kind of like, it. if you have, have you seen a Gordon Ramsay show before? Yeah. Yeah, okay, well, it's kind of like that, except they know what they're sort of talking about, and it's not just one angry man yelling at everyone. It's okay. quite a constructive show. Right. Um, yeah, it's, it's very, very good. Um, that, I saw the picture in, in the Herald. They're filming out at C.B. Woodhouse's amazing mansion. Um, and, yeah, the production will be wrapped two days before Christmas. So between literally between now and Christmas, they're shooting this entire series. Yeah. Um, again, getting an overseas format here. 
yeah, you know, that's cool. Uh, maybe it makes us feel like we're part of the, the, the sensation, if, if you like. But I sort of think it's unnecessary. I still think New Zealand was you know, doing better television when they could think up ideas themselves. Or just kind of take the idea and tweak it a bit, call it a different name. We all keep the money and don't have to pay yeah. royalties overseas. Yeah. Very true. All right. Hey, thanks so much for uh, coming on in. Hamish Coleman Ross from uh, Throng TV. Throng.co.nz forward slash TV is the best place to find you. Damn it. Do on, it. On Twitter as well. On Twitter at, at Hamish CR. That's me. At Hamish CR. Awesome. See you at the same time next week. Thanks, mate. Track now from Titterbades. This is called Romance.